All right, Hannah, our favorite trad commentator, the Daily Wire's Michael Knowles, is out with a take on divorce that we just have to react to. It's it's a doozy. I saw you. Well, I think first you sent this to me, and I saw it on Twitter, and I was like, "Is is he trolling? Is this? I think it's genuine, though. I, I'm pretty it sure is, it is. So it all started with one of those crazy uh, Daily Mail headlines. You know, they're the tabloid, British tabloid. They've got those crazy headlines that says Tennessee cop gone wild. Megan Hall stands by his wife and tries to salvage their marriage after she was fired for having sordid sex romps with six colleagues. Six. Wow. As she shrugs off scandal and says it's time to move on. Now, somebody asked Michael on Twitter, is this a good enough reason for a divorce? This is not a troll question. I'm being sincere. And he responds, strange as it may sound to our modern culture. Nope. Now, I'm going to disagree. I'm going to think that infidelity, especially with six different people, is in fact good enough reason for a divorce. Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. Um, and I listen. I grew up in what I would consider to be a very trad environment. My dad is a Southern Baptist pastor. If you don't know Southern Baptist, they are one of the most conservative denominations in this country. They rarely believe in divorce. I mean, and to to put this to the test, people are often shocked when I say this, but I am dead serious. There is not a single divorce in my family, and I'm talking wow. aunts, uncles, cousins. I have dozens of cousins older than me who are married. I pretty much have second cousins getting married at this point. I mean, there is not any divorce in my family. So when I say that they don't believe in divorce, they do not believe in divorce. But even my father would say that there are exceptions for abuse and for affairs. Now, they would actually, I think, most times encourage people to try to repair it when there's been an affair, right? Like that would be encouraged in the church, would be like, you know, going to counseling, trying to work things out, especially if there are kids. But they would not tell you that you were um, sinning to divorce if there had been an affair, right? They would say that you have the right to do that, to leave that person at that point. Because they broke their vows, right? Yes. I mean, um... Well, and just because there's an understanding that, uh, that affairs are abuse. If you're going to say that there, that you can leave a marriage where there's been abuse, having an affair on somebody, especially multiple times over, is abuse. It's mental abuse. It's emotional abuse. Often it's financial abuse. It's abusive. So I think that's why those things are tied together, where they would say, like, it makes sense that you might not be able to repair these things and that they are so harmful to you as an individual that that person's breaking their vows. You have the right to remove yourself from that situation. Now, some denominations would go so far as to say you have the right to leave but not to remarry. Uh, I've heard that said, but I've never seen anybody say that affairs or abuse were not grounds for a divorce. Well, and, and the abuse thing is it comes up in this, this Michael Knowles take because he tweeted, people seem shocked by the answer, but this has been the Catholic answer for 2000 years. According to the church, there is no good reason for divorce. And someone replied and asked, not even abuse and violence. And Michael Knowles said, Certain circumstances might permit or even require a physical separation for self-defense and the protection of children, but that is different from divorce. Um, so he's literally saying battered wives d- can't get a divorce, they, but they might need to take a little break and be physically separated <laughs> from their husband, but they should really, you know, try to reconcile with him eventually and, or stay, stay married to him for life. No! That's, that's frankly... Can't... I can't That's stupid. Speak, yeah, I mean, look, I can't speak to the teachings of the Catholic Church. I honestly, I don't know. Uh, I, I would be surprised if that was the position, but I, I, I don't know. I can just say that that's an insane position. I just think it's nuts. That's frankly stupid. I mean, because if what you're saying is there could be a separation, they might need to physically separate themselves, but not get a divorce. So that means they still have all the custody rights. That means they still likely have all financial rights. Like, no, that is unacceptable. And in fact, you're not I think he writes to a physically abusive husband. No. Right. Like that actually means you're endangering children at that point. Like what a ludicrous stance. Furthermore, I am not Catholic. I'm surprised to hear Matthew is. I thought he was or Michael, whatever his name is. I thought he was something else. But um, I don't think that that is the dominantly held position of Catholics. I will say that my Catholic relatives, which are my like far, far extension of relatives out in the Midwest, um, from my grandmother's side of the family, they have all kinds of divorce and they're all Irish Catholic. So I'm pretty sure divorce is allowed in the church, but okay. Yeah. I just, I don't understand these trad commentators who like reminisce for the good old days. It's, it's like, there's a lot of things wrong with modern society and modern dating, but 
people getting divorces in cases of spousal abuse is not one of them. Mm -mm. Well, and I think they often, one, are just historically illiterate. They don't really understand what the 1950s was like. Especially, like, you hear people say, oh, you could have a single income earner and, like, the person could stay home. But yet their houses were, like, shoe boxes. They had one car between them. They didn't usually have... so much have... false nostalgia for that time. <laughs> yeah. It's like they didn't have modern appliances. They certainly didn't have internet or any of the tools we have at our disposal. It's like, you don't really want to go back to that. Also, women were popping pills left and right during those decades, often having affairs even then. Like, they had this, like, really ridiculous kind of fantasy about what they think the previous decades were like that doesn't even hold up if you really dig into it. And secondarily, to me, it always just kind of seems like, sounds like you want women back under your thumb. Like, I really can't understand that nostalgia as anything other than that, because I don't really think that those decades were working for the vast majority of people. They certainly weren't working for black people. They weren't working for women. And I think as a whole, like, this is sort of the nostalgia you really just see perpetrated by white men in society these days. Like, I don't see many other people longing for the 1950s or 60s. Well, on behalf of white men, I'll say a lot of us aren't. <laughs> thinking that uh, but yeah people like Michael Knowles are and I'll say this too like I take divorce very seriously I think it's a really yeah. terrible thing um, but they always frame marriage as marriage is about uh, creating a family for children when they're explaining why they oppose gay marriage as if adoption doesn't exist um, but if that were the case then well in some cases divorce is also necessary for what's best for the children including spousal abuse or rampant adultery um, or I mean I just know like for my mom to stay in the marriage to my dad would have been terrible for us uh, because he was abusive in many ways and it was a totally dysfunctional home and so divorce is really hard on kids but ultimately it can be what's best for them in the long run if the, and if that's your stated purpose of marriage then it seems hard to for me to square how you could also never believe in any divorces but who knows that's the latest take uh from from our buddy over there um, guys, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, yada, 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 and we'll see you next time.